first three terms of the SUTD program are focused on making sure that science fundamentals are solidly understood. Part of this is to make sure that all our students are starting with the same basic skill set. And for some students, this may be review, but the depth of understanding on the part of the students should be much greater after they have finished the Freshmore sequence. The Freshmore sequence is intentionally designed to bring together people of widely differing backgrounds and bring them up to a technically uniform base so that each of the subsequent programs can build on that base with confidence. We have found that a student that does not understand the fundamental subjects suffers throughout the rest of his or her program. He does not learn the later material as well because he must continuously waste time wrestling with the concepts that were not learned in past courses. The most basic courses in the Freshmore terms are the two terms of physics, one of chemistry, one of biology, and three of mathematics. We believe that any 21st century technical education on the collegiate level requires a basic understanding of all these disciplines. The subjects are followed by three secondary level subjects. The first is the introduction to design uh, that allows the students to design using concepts that they've garnered from the first and second terms at the SUTD. This course is intended to be hands-on and introduces the students to the design process. The design projects in this course will be chosen from several higher level programs so that the student will get a taste of many of the program choices they have at, uh, at SUTD. The second of these courses is the digital world that introduces the student to technical computing. The tools taught in this course will be indispensable to the student both before and after graduation. And finally, the third of these subjects is the engineering and the physical world that extends the lessons learned in physics and chemistry to help understand the subjects of energy and materials, very important in this world. In this class, the microscopic world is linked to the macroscopic world to understand topics in thermodynamics, materials, and fluid mechanics. And the technical aspects of design are only a small part of what goes towards a design that ultimately becomes successful. Most designs are strongly influenced by legal restrictions, cultural biases, language, philosophy, and the history of the society that will be using it. Successful designers and engineers cannot be blind to these subjects that are part of the human condition. The other thing is that communication is key. Frequently the merit of a design is not readily apparent to others so that the designer must be capable of successfully communicating its merits with others. We do not believe that broad-based learning is restricted to people that have not yet reached their 18th birthday. Rather, broad-based learning is a process that should continue throughout one's life. The lessons that are learned later in life are often much richer because of the influence of one's experiences. We are particularly excited about the World Civilizations course uh, uh, that occurs in the Freshmore sequence. Uh, this course will look into society and culture of, of both the East and West through the great books of history. Well, we believe that there is, a, is value for both the individual and the university in a common Freshmore experience for the entire student body. For the individual, the classes provide a basis for the students to interact. We believe that it is important the students interact and work with people that have interests and experiences that differ from their own. Much of what is learned in college is not taught in the classroom, but is a result of working and living with peers. In addition, this common basis also allows students to further explore the subjects they find of interest so that they can intelligently decide which program to pursue. The university benefits in that in the end there exists a cohesiveness to the student body that cannot be achieved if students were separated on the day they first matriculate. Our goal is to develop young men and women that will be leaders in their fields. Leaders need breadth in their education so that they can speak with and understand others that are experts in other fields and speak with politicians and for that matter the general public. Technical breadth is important and understanding the fundamental principles in a field will allow a quick understanding of the new developments in that field. Architects, for example, need to understand the properties of new materials if they're going to intelligently design uh, with that new material chemistry. 
They need to understand how stresses and strains in those materials are distributed if they're going to intelligently design that new design with that new material. That's a knowledge of physics. Their design process would benefit from a knowledge of fluid flow or energy flow when they're thinking about heating systems for a building or the wind loads on that building. Having a broad background helps a leader ask the right questions of the people he or she leads. Only a relatively small fraction of what we learn will be important to us. The problem is that we don't know what that small fraction is. The exposure to a broad set of subjects shows us the many ways people think. I contend that a historian thinks very differently from that of an engineer, a biologist, or a physicist. This exposure allows us to think outside the box that holds captive someone that is more narrowly schooled.